everybody and welcome back to Fugit Blitz and the tank I have been waiting for is finally hit the stores but it comes at a hefty price tag 17,500 gold uh, okay so it's not the stupid crates with a 1% drop chance that it came out first time it's not the lucky spin but 17,500 gold for a tier 8 TD what the? Anyway, this is what the tank looks like. Boy, it's expensive. It has... Well, let's have a look at it. Let's find out about this tank. It looks funky. So, it's got great damage. It's got a low rate of fire, really good penetration, pants armor, good speed, and rotation, blah, blah, blah. I mean, who cares about rotation? Hit points, it's got 1,150. And you can see there, there is no armor. View range, not that great. Camera profile, just below average. DPM, 2,849 a minute. Reload time, just over 9.5 seconds. But look at this. 246 on your AP pen, 311 on your APCR. Damage, 460 on your AP, 390 on your APCR, 600 on your HE. Aim time, just over 3 seconds. Depression, 6 degrees, not a lot, but it's okay. And the speed is not bad. But let's have a closer look at this armor, or lack of. I mean, there is no armor. I mean, look at it. It's just nothing there. This is it facing off against a Tiger 2, and, well, you'd be stupid to face off against a Tiger 2. In fact, almost every tank in the game can pen this thing. So what is it that go that's going for it? Well, the gun. I mean, this gun is fantastic. It is super accurate. It is super derpy. And it is on a chassis which is basically like a panther and it does really get some decent movement out of it that's what makes this tank it's the gun everything else pants okay mobility and the gun scrub that don't even try to frontline this thing because you're just going to come a cropper it's just an absolute nightmare armor wise the chance of you getting anything bounced is, well, slim to say the least. Although, to be honest with you, I did have a fair few bounces. But the thing that makes this tank is the gun. Okay, the load time may seem a little bit long, but trust me, it's not. I, when I bought this tank, I've been waiting for this tank for ages. Um, to be honest with you, I, I didn't get it in the crates. I didn't get it in the lucky spin. I got a grave digger and a tankenstein again so i've been looking forward to getting this tank because i know it's got a fantastic gun aside from that okay it's got good mobility oh, look at that ammo rack who doesn't love an ammo rack on an is5 aside from that the armor is non-existent guys you know you need to understand that about this tank and the thing i keep i have to keep going back to it it is the gun the gun is what makes this thing brilliant and it is brilliant but is it 17,500 gold brilliant i mean that is expensive that is not cheap in any way shape or form i would say it's too much it's too expensive it's not worth dropping that much gold for this tank however this is the first time it's come into the store since the stupid crates and the New Year's tree event. I don't know when it'll come back. I mean, it's it's taken, what, almost 10 months since the crates and 7 months since the New Year's tree event. So I don't know when it'll come back. I don't know if it'll come back. And I don't know what it'll come back for. Thing is, if it does come back, and the likelihood is it will come back, it'll be cheaper than 17,500 gold. Hey, don't get me wrong, you get all the equipment unlocked and you get an avatar, Ooh. and you get the Scorpion G camo, and you get all that jazz, but you're still spending 17,500 gold. Okay, you're getting a nice tank. You really are getting a nice tank. I mean, I love this tank. I think that, aside from the armor, anything that comes in front of that gun is just going to get wasted. And... To that extent, the gun alone makes it borderline OP. But this is not a tank for everybody. Because that armor is just not there. And when you have zero armor and just a fantastic gun, 
you can get yourself into a world of pain. But I love it. I mean, I love this tank. I have waited a long time for it. I did spend a stupid amount of gold on it because I'm not affiliated with Wargaming and all that jazz. I don't get these tanks for free. I really do have to buy them to, to review them. And it didn't disappoint me, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've only played, I've played it a fair few times. Um, I didn't get an ace in it, I must admit, but you know, I only got it yesterday and I've only been playing it for a while. I've done about 20 games in it. I got close to an ace uh, three or four times, but unfortunately it just didn't materialize. But I must admit, I love this tank. My win rate in it out of 30 odd games is 62, 63%. And you know, it's, it's just a fantastic little tank. But caveat time, it comes with that obscene price tag. In, I'm sorry, the price tag is obscene. 17,500 gold is a lot of gold. I mean, it's a lot of gold. I mean, it effectively works out in what? 45 US dollars, 40 euros, and about 37 pounds, because the pound is not doing well at the moment. But it, that's expensive for a tier 8 tank, realistically. Especially when in the store at the moment you've got the Kampfpanzer 70 going for 12,500 gold, and that's a tier 9 tank. Or you've got the E25 going for 7,500 gold, which is a tier 7 tank. And they're all fully equipped. So you are spending a lot of money on a tank that's tier 8. And the thing is, Wargaming know this. I mean, they've howled back on this tank. It's not come out for a long time. And they've brought it out at a stupid cost. But it is a good tank, don't get me wrong. That gun is just spectacular. It really, really is really is. So would I advise you to buy this tank? No, is my honest answer. The reason why is because it's too expensive. <sighs> but this is a tough one because it is a fantastic tank and I don't know when it will come back again. Is it one you must have in your garage? Well, that's debatable. I don't think it's a must-have tank. It's not, you know, one of those tanks that you say, oh, I've got to have it. If it was going for 10,000 gold, then I would say, yeah, this is more of a must-have tank. Don't get me wrong, the tank is brilliant. It's a fantastic tank. It's a beautiful tank. It's a dream to play. It's got a super-duper, unicum, amazing gun. But it's got also a ridiculously Russian oligarch price tag. And that is what spoils this deal. I love the tank. I hate the price. But who am I to tell you not to buy it? I mean, I went out and bought it. I've waited to this tank for so long. Would I have spent the same amount if I would have bought the stupid crates? I don't know, is the honest answer. I know some people who spent a shed load on the crates to get this thing. And I know some people who got very lucky in the New Year's tree event and did the lucky spin and got it first time. I didn't. I got the stupid Tankenstein and Gravedigger, which I already had Wargaming. Thank you for doing that. So, it, it, it would be remiss of me to tell you not to buy it, realistically, because that's up to you. All I'm saying is, it's bloody expensive for what it is. Don't forget, it's just a tier 8 TD. It's a nice tier 8 TD. It's a super fine tier 8 TD. It's a fantastic tier 8 TD. But is it 17,500 golds worth of super fantastic TD? Is this a game changer? Is this an OP tank? Is this a pay to win? No, it's a great tank. But like all tanks in Blitz, it depends on your skill level as well. It's not a tank you can just stick there and hope for the best. You've got to be able to play the damn thing. You've got to understand the armor. You've got to understand it has no armor. And you've got to play it to the best of your ability. And if you are struggling with a very low win rate, this may not be the tank for you. In that's the thing. I mean, I would not say this is a must-have. It's a nice have, and it's a luxury item. And that's about it. It is a luxury item. If you can afford it, fill your boots. If you can't, wait a bit longer. It probably may come back again in a couple of months' time. Who knows? And if it does, I'm betting it'll come back 
with 5,000 gold knocked off this price. And then it will be worth it. Then it will be worth it. But don't get me wrong, like I said, I mean, I love this tank. It's fantastic, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's sexy, it's precision German engineering in a massive gun that just likes to destroy and mount armour that comes in front of it. I mean, I'm drooling here. But then I come back to reality and I just realise I spent 17,500 bloody gold on this thing. What were you thinking? This is madness. But I've wanted it for a long time. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Oh, but I can't tell you to go and buy it. I wish I could. But that's up to you. I'm not here to tell you to buy things or not buy things. Anyway, best I could do was a second class. Like I said, I did have a few games. I, I mean, I had a game last night where I got to 4,000 damage and got... I think it was a, a second class, but we lost, unfortunately. But it was a great game, but I did camp most of it, which is why I'm not showing you the replay. Now, this is my friend Abyss, who, by the way, has his own YouTube channel, so I suggest you go and check him out. Uh, the link is in the top right-hand corner. He's rolling out an Air Scorpion G. Yesterday, I put it on my Discord. Um, if anybody got any decent reviews or re replays going out in the Scorpion G, and he said, oh, I, I sort of haven't got one, but I'll give it a, a roll. He rolled out, and this was, I think, his fourth game, I think he said. And he, he, he came back to me straight away and said, I just had a fantastic game. And this is a fantastic game. And he's now going to show you how and what this tank can do in the right hands. And it, 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 it's a superb tank. I mean, I've run out of superlatives to say to them. I mean, look at that. Boom. Straight into the side of that poor sucker. And he's gone. He's out of there. And, and Abyss has already done 1,651 damage. I mean, this is a derp monster. It's, it's a super fly fantastic little premium tier 8 TD with a gun that is punching way above its weight on a chassis that is paper thin let's be honest it ain't a waffle tractor it ain't a borsig it's better than both of those um, but it's got the same sort of profile armor wise but the gun is just a dream it's a dream I'm telling you it's not 17,500 gold worth of dream however I mean that's more of a bloody nightmare but Abyss is here rolling out on vineyards and already he's up to 2300 damage he's only taken one kill and this is what you can do in this tank you can rack that damage up in next to no time and as you can see i mean you've got to keep it quite a long way back if you don't you're gonna get hurt there's no two ways about it i mean this thing will fold quicker than a deck chair in a high wind that's why I'm saying you need to understand this tank. You can't just buy this and hope for the best. You need some skill to play it. Because the armor is so, so bad. So, so bad. But if it had thicker armor, then you'd have no speed. And you'd have no mobility. And then you'd all be complaining that it was too slow. And, you know, that's the thing. I mean, look at this. That was a... You know, the, the, the IS-3 is difficult to pet at the best of times, but he's going to roll back up because his reload's better. And boom, take a massive roll into the IS-3, and that's a fair trade at the end of the day. Look at this, look at this. Brawl with an IS-3 heavy. Why not? Because my reload's quicker, says Abyss. And it is <laughs> much quicker. Uh, so, He's taken two kills. He's done 2,927 damage. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I love that. Poor, poor IS-6. 3,181 damage now. One tank left. And it's that Jag Tiger. I think it's the Jag Tiger. Should be the Jag Tiger that we saw earlier in the game. There's two against one. Abyss in his Scorpion G Super Duper Dirt Machine and some other tank that's got two kills. Abyss has got three kills so far. He's just scraping over 3,000 damage. What can he do? Can he find the tiger? 
It's there somewhere. There you are. Hello. Goodbye. Wow. 516. Max roll. 4,110 damage in the end. Wow. Deserved mastery. Shed load of credits because this is a credit machine as well. Plus, don't forget, he had the times three. Destroys four tanks. What a fantastic game. And I'd like to thank Abyss of the Clan WLV for kindly sharing his replay. Go and check out his YT channel. It's really worth a look. That's been the Scorpion G, guys. Fantastic tier 8 TD with a not so fantastic price tag. I've been Fuji. I hope that's been, well, entertaining, informative, and sort of give you an idea on whether you should drop that gold or not. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't already, press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. If you've got any replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord server. And by the way, you can now follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links are everywhere. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about. It's having fun and being happy. And if dropping 17,500 makes you as giddy as a schoolgirl, who is going to criticise you? Not me. Have fun. Do it if you want to do it. And don't let noobs like me tell you otherwise. If you've got the money and you can afford it, do it!